What is up machines and machine freaks? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Welcome back to the UTV build, the crush build. Yes, you guys saw it yesterday. I mentioned that we have changed the name. Well, we, we've given it a name, Crush. <laughs> well, actually, we don't know that yet because we haven't fired it up. Hopefully today is that day. One thing is for sure, before we continue with this, I gotta put on my crush colored hat. I gotta feel the crush vibes. Now that our new machine has an identity, let me tell you a little bit more about him. He's a 998cc machine. He has a four stroke 2016. As far as I can see, it's mostly stock. There are like one or two modifications, excluding like horns and light bars and other things. He's a five speed sequential shift. What that means is it goes up and it goes down to shift. So yes, this does have a clutch, it has a brake and it has a gas pedal. That one's the most important. As many of you are probably aware, I bought this with the intent that it only had 35 miles on it. It does not have 35 miles on it. It has far from 35 miles on it. If I hook up the battery real quick, I'll tell you exactly how many miles are on it. This machine actually has 2,770 miles. So I am speaking with somebody about that because this isn't the machine that I wanted to buy. I mean it is, it's just the mileage isn't there. It's like buying, you understand. However, I'm not going to allow that to deter me from learning something. Now this channel is all about learning, no, it's not about that. It's about not being dumber. So every day we progress a little bit. Like I'm not here to teach you, I'm not here to, to be a teacher. All I'm here to, to do is entertain you. If you learn on the journey, then that's a good thing. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm not sure if we're gonna to have to give this machine back or if they're gonna compensate me financially or, or what's going to happen. But for right now, we're just gonna keep learning about these things. This is my first one ever. I wanna do a lot with it. I have a secret, a dirty little secret that I might tell you in this video. And if it's not in this video, maybe it'll be in tomorrow's video. Go. Good. Go. Am I not going the right way? You're going to go this way. Way I'm going. Alright. I'm going to push it down this way. Yep, go for it. <laughs> really? Come on. You come try. You got it. Dude, I feel like I'm going to break your breaker box. Yeah, good breaks though. I'll tell you that. Oh, <laughs> he's giving himself extra leverage. What? Alright, smash. Hang on, Jerome. The money just popped out because that tie rod end was shot, so it turned that wheel out. Probably popped both CV axles out. Jake's taking off the other tire right now. We're gonna get this CV axle out. Smell that. Smell it. Smell it? Why do you smell that? It smells like nasty gear oil. Did you smell that thing in my shop? I'm not sure if you caught this in yesterday's video, but when I went to the parts store to get spark plugs, they didn't have them. I just picked them up. So I have the spark plugs. We won't run sp <laughs> We won't run black spark plugs. There we go. We're gonna run brand new spark plugs as you know, nice machine should. This isn't a nice machine, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that. We also bought some other goodies that we'll get to later. Just so everybody's clear, even if Crush doesn't work, there will still be a Crush 2.0. So there's no need to fear. Now 
I'm gonna do something in front of the camera that I've never done before in my life. I'm looking at a manual. These are from yesterday when Jake and I were measuring everything and, and checking angles of everything to see if this frame was really twisted. Turns out it's not really twisted at all, which is really, really good. Yes, I'm taking Crush very, very seriously. It's a very expensive toy. I, I didn't, I spent a lot of money on this machine, a lot of money on this machine, even though it's rolled over, it's crushed, but hey, when you gotta make moves, you gotta make moves, and that's what this is. A big move. Another move has to do with this tent inside. Now, I'm, I'm very excited about this, and if you actually go to machinemerch.com, you'll actually, if you, if you do some nosing around and you click certain buttons, you'll see what the dirty little secret actually is. Well, you can assume it'll give you hints to what the dirty little secret is. But anyways, about the tent. I wanna bring some of my machine merch in here and give a lot of you guys some shout outs. I mean, you make these videos possible, so I, I wanna thank as many of you as I can. I hope my camera doesn't fall. I wanna give out my first shout outs ever in the circus tent, I guess. Miranda E, Kyle O, Dan U, Janine E, and Dylan L. Thank you guys very much. I certainly appreciate it. Crush has a similar engine to what my Apex had. My Apex is a four-cylinder Yamaha. This is a three-cylinder Yamaha. I think this is actually a nitro engine. I could be wrong. Uh, the nitro sleds use a, th a three-cylinder engine. Uh, but like I said, I could be wrong. But this is my first oil change with this engine. It's kind of similar to the Apex, but I didn't do any like reading up on the Apex. I kind of had my buddy Kyle come over. We did it. He knew how to do it, so we just did it. I read how the professionals are supposed to do it. So today, I'm a professional. I just discovered something really cool. I, I know, I'm changing oil. What could be cool about that? Check this out, Yamaha did something really, really cool. That arm and the stream of oil, it does not touch the arm, but look at how close it is. It's so extremely close. And it doesn't touch the arm, so it doesn't drip and dribble everywhere. It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's, oh, oh, I, son of a pup, it touches. Yamaha, you gotta fix that. You gotta come over like half inch this way. Crush is now lubed up, oil has been changed, spark plugs have been installed, so we have lubrication, we have spark, now we need fuel and air. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get air, I mean there's plenty of oxygen in here, kidding. But here is the gas tank. I actually wanna open this thing up before I go ahead and set it up and see if Crush runs. I wanna start it up, but at the same time, we'll just ensure ourselves by looking inside this thing. I just gassed it up. The last thing I have to do is hook up the battery and we're gonna give Crush its first, his first debut. Sorry, I didn't mean that. First trial ever and I'm sharing my seat with the light bar. Here we go. Clutch in, key on, fuel pump turned on. Says we're neutral. Ah, dead battery. Maintenance free, my eye. First try ever was a dud, let's try a second try. Fuel injection system is on. It's a lot. 
it's alive! It's alive! The instruction says give it three to five reps. I'm not doing this. I'm following the instructions. It runs. Now I gotta check the fluids. Make sure we're not gonna seize this thing up. It's alive though. Thank goodness. Crush was low on fluid, so I'm glad we checked that. Now the instructions say start it up and give it hell. Three grand. Yeah. Yesterday I mentioned that Logan and Brian hooked me up with some manuals. I also gotta give a shout out to Joe Spring. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you want to feel the Crush vibes, you can do two things. Two simple things, and I'd appreciate both of them. One, go to machinemerch.com, pick up some machine merch. If your piggy bank won't allow you to do that, you can do the second thing. Smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, 3D Machines and Crush out.